Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Siobhan and I make videos about medical school and university. Before I forget, please do consider hitting the subscribe button down below if you like my videos, if you like my content, if you find it interesting and if you want to see more. Uh, today's video, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail and the title is about all the top technology I use on a day-to-day -day basis in university that makes my life easier, that makes me more productive, and that helps me out in whether it's in productivity or just enjoying myself. So I'm just going to go over all of that one by one. And yeah, without any further delay, let's get right into it. First thing, the first thing that I will mention is pretty basic. Everyone has one. I don't even know if it's worth mentioning, but it's a phone because I use my phone for so much. I mean, it is the most central piece of technology for me and mainly related to what I'm doing now. I use it a lot to take photos. I use it as a substitute for the camera because I want a lot of clear, high quality memories from this time in my life. And then I also use it to record all my YouTube videos, to take pictures for my YouTube videos, my med account on Instagram, everything. So my phone is actually very central to my um, creative productivity in that way as well. This here is my phone and it's broken from inside that you something you can't see right now it's the iphone 10 and it takes pretty clear pictures just don't break it like i did next thing again it's it'll probably be pretty basic something you would have already thought of but i'm just gonna break down what i use it for so first of all it is my laptop and I use the 2020, 2020 MacBook Pro. Uh, I used to use a MacBook Air, but I recently upgraded to the MacBook Pro just because it's such a, such a, like, I don't know the, the word, but it's so powerful that it, it's very efficient in that way. It carries out all your tasks very quickly and very efficiently and you can do m multiple things at once. It's great for multitasking and on a Mac, like you can set up three different desktops. I have one for relaxation, one for YouTube and one for university work and productivity and stuff like that and I actually took in this idea from Karma Medic and his video on how he uses his MacBook Pro so I use it for everything basically it's my it's a very central tool for me and I think as it showed me it gives me weekly updates on my update screen time for the week and I think it's usually somewhere between four to six or seven hours a day that I spend on my laptop because I'm doing everything on here. Watching lectures, taking notes for my lectures, writing down assignments, using the internet to find important resources, uh, doing research, making my YouTube videos. This is a very important tool for making my YouTube videos because like I said, it's very powerful and it can process 4K footage very easily. The iPhone can shoot in 4K. And uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's probably my most used device out of everything here. And uh, I mean, obviously the MacBook Pro has a few fun features as well, like, touch ID and the touch bar so that is my laptop thing is another similar device in that sense and it's my iPad so I use an iPad because I think the iPad is the most while a MacBook 
like a laptop is very essential because it's a very powerful device and uh, it can basically do everything you need to do at a very fast rate and it allows you to multitask and stuff like that. This is a very efficient mobile note taking device and uh, I have it with the Apple Pencil which is very efficient because it allows me to take handwritten notes on my iPad. Uh, yeah, so I use good notes to take notes. So I can just take screenshots of lecture slides, put them in here, annotate them, just write my notes, write down important points from lectures. And like I said, Good Notes is the main app I use, but I also use Evernote. Uh, if you see here, I have a lot of notes on Evernote because before I had my iPad, I was taking all my notes on Evernote on my laptop. And uh, yeah, so I have a lot of that on here. And then I also use Notion. And uh, I have a lot of things on here with Notion and basically it syncs with my laptop. So I can access all of this on my iPad or on my laptop, depending on what device I'm using, where I'm sitting, things like that. And together, my iPad and my laptop make me very efficient while studying and then an iPad is also very convenient to watch things on because in like my downtime I watch Netflix, watch things like that. It's easy to just take it into you know into the bed with you or to walk around with it and stuff, which is not so convenient with a laptop. But yeah now the next thing can be is actually three things that can be categorized into one sort of uh, subset so it's basically different forms of headphones and earphones and i have three i'd say you only need two but i got one of them for free after the other two so i was like it's i mean i just have three now and that's pretty convenient so first of all i have my headphones which is the Bose QC35 noise cancelling headphones and I think noise cancelling headphones are just so great. They are. They're the perfect tool for studying because I listen to lectures sitting in my room all day and uh, being in university accommodation I can't blare my lectures out loud. So I listen to them using some form of, I have to put in some earphones, some headphones and like that, my noise cancelling headphones, they really block out all the surrounding sound and they make me so productive while doing my lectures that I just get into the zone. And at any, and at any time where I'm using headphones or earphones for a prolonged period of time, I pull out my headphones because they just, uh, they have really great sound quality, great noise cancelling and all of that makes for a really good experience when you're listening to something. After that, I have my AirPods. Now, these are the ones that I got for free. I mean, AirPods, I would say, actually, I got two of these for free. My bad. Two of them for free. I would say get, I mean, I would say I need two for sure but I have an extra third one, so I've put it to use. So my AirPods are what I use for leisure mostly. So when I'm out on the road, going for a long walk, traveling, things like that, it's just so easy to just open up my AirPods, they pair to my, uh, to my phone, to whatever device I'm using, to just pop them in and listen to whatever I have to. And uh, yeah, they're just a very, very nice little thing to have. After that, I have this pair of JBL earphones. Now, I feel like AirPods don't fit in my ears very well and they fall out very easily. So I can't use them for any strenuous activity, whether it's playing any sport or running or uh, definitely not for working out. They just fall out of my ears in if I move too much. 
and uh, that's why I think it's really convenient that I have these as well. These are JBL Bluetooth earphones and uh, they are uh, slightly different in terms of shape and they fit into my ears very well. Like, they don't, they don't, they don't, okay, yeah, that was a bit too much. But yeah, they don't, they don't come out very easily. They just stick in there and, you know, are very comfortable and I wear these when I'm walking out, exercising at the gym, things like that because uh, they don't wear out like my headphones, the soft rubber part wears out very easily when you sweat onto it too much and that doesn't happen with these ones and also it's much lighter, it doesn't really feel like you have much on you unlike headphones so it's much more convenient in the gym and places like that and that makes all my three sound devices ready and lastly i have my anchor portable power bank and this is a very very powerful power bank i can charge my phone seven times i can charge my ipad a couple of times and uh, because of that it's just so useful I spend a lot of my day out here and it's not easy to find charging points and obviously I need my devices a lot like I I'm always needing my phone for something for directions for something else and especially when you're moving to a new city in university your power bank uh, your phone becomes a very essential tool to have on you working at all times so for that you need a power bank to keep it working and uh, it's, it's I mean it's slim and it's powerful so I can fit it into my bag really easily I just drop it in there and whenever I need to charge my phone I just take power bank out connect it charge it and I can just keep it in my bag have the wire coming out hold my phone in my hand and walk around with it it's just a really convenient tool and I think Everyone around me here at university has a power bank as well. It's just so essential. So that's pretty much the video. Uh, I think I covered everything there. I hope you found it kind of interesting on what stuff I use, how I use it. I mean, feel free to, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop them down below in the comment section, to DM me on Instagram, anything. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, if you got some ideas on what might be useful, um, be sure to drop a like down below and to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.